Hi again, everybody. I'm Smart Ed with another Smart Ed TV top tip. We're in Smart Notebook 11, and today we're going to discuss a feature called Reset Page. In my work area, I've created a table that is two columns wide and three rows tall. Below the table, I have some numbers and some pictures. I'll save my notebook file since this is how I want things to look at the start of my class. I want my students to place a number in the left column and a picture in the right column with the same number of items as the number in the left column. For example, a student could move the number 2 to the top of the left column and then the picture of two orange halves to the top of the right column. You get the idea, so I'll finish with the other items in my work area. Now we're at the end of this class period, but the next class is going to do the same exercise. Rather than pull everything back out of my table, I'll go to my Page Sorter tab, select the drop-down arrow on the page I'm working on, and one of the options is called Reset Page. I'll select this option and a pop-up box appears asking me to confirm this action. The box notes that this action cannot be undone. I'll select the Reset Page button and my page is back to a starting point. Actually, it reverts back to the last time the page was saved. So, when you're ready to start using a page, simply select the Save button in the Notebook Actions panel of the toolbar. Let's review. Select Save prior to beginning a lesson. When the lesson is over, select the Page Sorter side tab. Then select the drop-down arrow for the page you're working on. Select Reset Page and then confirm this action by selecting the Reset Page button in the pop-up box that appears. If you want to learn more about using Smart Notebook software and our other educational technology products, Smart Ed Services offers a wide variety of professional development programs to suit your needs. Let us help you get the most out of the technology you use in your classroom. The Reset Page feature is a great way to save time between class periods so you don't have to manually go through your Smart Notebook file and move things back to the way they were at the beginning of a lesson. That does it for this top tip. I'm Smart Ed and we will see you again soon here on Smart Ed TV.